Hi everyone, welcome to MSCR Makes. I'm Miss Julia and today we'll be painting with tea. For this project you will need some paper, some water, a small bowl or two, and some different types of tea. If you do not have tea, at the end of the video I'll show you how to do the same project using some leftover coffee. You might also want a paintbrush, but that's up to you. I'll let you pause the video here and go gather your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'll move some things out of the way. This project is really fun, but pretty simple. All you need to do is take a little bit of water, not a lot, put it in your bowl, open up your tea, and put it in there to soak. You'll want to let it soak until it colors the water. Here's one that I started earlier. I have two different types of tea here. If you have more than one type of tea in your house, it can be fun to see what different colors different teas make. If you only have one type of tea, you can also use a little bit of food coloring to make your tea different colors so that when you paint with it, it's more exciting. Next, I'll grab my paper and I'm going to use the tea bag instead of a paintbrush. So I can drag it along my paper. I can try different plopping motions or even set it down and squish it. See how different things make different shapes? That's pretty cool. I can also use a paintbrush and dip it into my tea and try painting with it if I want to try something different. If you don't have tea bags to use, I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing with a little bit of leftover coffee. So I'll take my leftover coffee here an extra coffee filter, some thread, and a pair of scissors. So with my leftover coffee, I can take a few bits of it, put it in the middle of my coffee filter, wipe off the extra, and then I'm just going to bunch it up so that all of the coffee is down at the bottom. Going to take my string and get myself a little bit. Then either you or your grown up can help you tie a knot so that your coffee will stay in the coffee filter. If this is in the way, you can also cut it off so that it's shorter. And then you can do the same thing. Put your coffee bag in some water. Grab your piece of paper and use it to paint with. You can still do the same dragging, plopping, and squishing motions. And you can still use a paintbrush too to paint on different areas. I hoped you enjoyed painting with coffee and tea today. I know I did. I really like how it makes my house smell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!